What's up DC Universe addicts? This is Seaspray here yet again to give you your DC Universe fix. Good to do another classics review today. Right now we're going to take a look at Mercury. I already took a look at Iron before. I did a review on that guy and fell in love with that guy. He's totally cool. So if you want to check that review out, you can check the video response linked in the area description below. But today we're going to take a look at Mercury, which I was really happy to find at a local comic slash collector shop. Um, I do think there is one more that is out who is gold, and I don't think there's any more that uh, I know of. So I really hope they release the rest of the metal men. So we have Mercury here looking pretty cool. This is a taller DC Universe Classics pack compared to another one. As you can see here, we got another DC figure, which is so much smaller uh, in the package compared to the other figure which is a little weird. But. So anyways, this guy came in wave 16, he's figure number 5 and he's part of the Collect and Connect series. Uh, you can Collect and Connect to get Bane. So in this series we have Jonah Hex, which I did see at the local shop. I did see the Creeper. Um, they had the Riddler, uh, who I didn't see there. They had a couple of different Robins. Uh, they had Mercury and I haven't seen Ezreal Batman, which looks awesome. So we do have a little bit of a biography up top. If you care to read that, you can pause your monitor now. Moving on, statistics, if you care to read that, so on and so forth. Okay, sweet. So uh, I really can't wait to find the rest of this series so I can get Bane. And I didn't realize Jonah Hex was in there. If I would have known, I would have grabbed him when I, when I got the other figures. But anyways, this guy looks awesome. So let's take this guy out of the package and go over him for further detail. Alright, let's do this. And here we have Mercury out of the package. Pretty sweet. Comes with this little pair of scissors. Wants to be a barber, hairdresser. It's kind of weird. A bald guy coming with a pair of scissors. That's kind of weird. But anywho, this is one of the uh, attachments. One of the hand pieces. And they do actually work, but they might not necessarily cut. Pretty cool looking figure though. Roxanne! Roxanne! Okay, so like I said, you got this hand all bubbled up, I guess, to represent um, Mercury kind of forming into a metal pair of scissors. And I can't help it, but I have to say scissors talking with a lisp. But, anyways, like I said, uh, he does come with an extra hand. And then with a little bit of effort and a little bit of rub and tug, um, you just want to pop this hand off. As you can see, it has like a little pointy tip on there. And then it just fits right into the wrist socket. And these things are all fresh on the package, so a little bit need to be worked in a little bit. You can see the hand moves a bit, as you can see. Hand looks pretty cool, nice and detailed, I guess. Pretty simple, but detailed at the same time. I prefer to have this guy in with both hands like this, but I have Iron with his gimmicks and what have you, so I might have it with this, but I don't really like the pair of scissors, but it's okay, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? It's kind of sad, because Iron came with, like, two pieces. He came with a ball and chain, and also a wrench, a working wrench, and this guy only comes with a pair of scissors. But, yeah, enough about that. Let's get into the figure now. But other than the goofy hand, uh, the character, the figure looks pretty cool. He's predominantly red, which can be a little bit distracting. It's kind of hard to see features in, in him, but uh, a little bit of scuff, I think it was fluff. But he does, of course, have the Mercury symbol on his head and on his chest there. And this piece is like, just like a, I guess, I don't know, it looks like a bib or something like that on the front of him. And then he's like pretty much all naked with some underwear and some boots so funny looking guy but he's not a guy he's metal he's made from metal he's mercury mercury man or is it just mercury I can't remember but anyways so not much more to say he's an odd looking guy with you know some pretty uh, odd looking features here he's got a big nose and a big chin looks very funny hello he looks like a clown um, what I do really like about this figure, he does have the two points of elbow and knee movement, which is awesome. 
so you can tell this is a newer figure. Um, what else can I say about this? Other than he, you know, he's pretty simple. He's cool. His has his eyes don't even have he doesn't even have white eyes. He has red eyes with black. What else? What else? His head can rotate 360, slightly move up and down. His arms can go up and down at the shoulders. Move 360. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to loosen it up. Move 360 at the upper thigh, and of course two points at the elbow. Wrist can go 360, and it can move slightly up and down. Same with the right arm. He does have the mid torso abdomen, and I just cracked it. 360 movement at the waist. Legs can go forward and back, side. Raise them up pretty high, as you can see. <laughs> move 360 at the thigh. Actually, you know what? The colors are a little bit different from here and here. It's a little bit darker up here compared to down here. But it's not a big deal, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Two points movement at the knee. And you can move in and out at the ankle. Not really much more to say. Um, I do like the color. It's cool. I like the symbol. And the only thing I don't like is these pair of scissors that are really warped and bent and really goofy. It would have been cool if he came with like a blade and maybe some other cool gimmick items. But other than that, you know, if you like the Mercury, if you like that, I was going to say Mercury Man, if you like the Metal Man, this guy would be up your alley. He's, he's cool. Um, he's different. He's different. But that's pretty much it, you know. Stay tuned for comparison picks at the end of this review. And that's pretty much it for this one. So this is Seasbury. Thanks for checking out the video review on DCUC Mercury. This is your boy Seaspray. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. See ya. <laughs>